Hi guys, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a eyeshadow palette for Valentine's Day that you may already own. Uh, I'm excited to do this video. I got to dip into my collection, find some old favorites and just some things that I know are pretty popular. Um, so let's just get right into it. If you're new here, welcome. I do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I have eyeshadow palettes ranging everything from drugstore to high-end luxury so I've got an array here uh, let's go ahead and start um, with some elf quads these I elf bite size eyeshadow quads have been around for I want to say two years now uh, I love them they are my go-to palettes for pretty much any time I'm wanting a more glam look um, but again just they're so affordable and they're so great and I just I love these but first I have cream and sugar here you've got some more champagne colors hopefully the camera picks up on it okay but you've got some more champagne colors you've got a deeper color here and just totally perfect for just a sultry quick kind of glam look and I would probably pair this with uh, a, I could do it. You could do a bold red lip with it. You can do a pink lip. You can even do more of a deeper nude. Um, would be really pretty with this palette. So I do love that one, as well as the Truffles pal palette by Elf. Uh, again, something you could definitely do for a more glam look. Uh, really, any kind of lip combo you want. A good nude. Um, there are probably I would probably recommend a more warm or a more cool tone nude with this palette. Uh, you could even go bolder and pinker if you wanted to or even more on the red side but definitely something if you're just wanting like something more neutral and new and natural but still very sultry and date night and you want to pair a bold lip with that this would be a great palette to do that. And on the pinkier side is the e.l.f. Rosewater Quad. I would definitely pair a more pinky nude with it or even like a rose gold kind of nude shade with this. Um, super pretty, super affordable, and again, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, especially because I do love pinky eyeshadows, especially for this time of the year. Moving on to my Dose of Colors one. This is the Marvelous Mobs palette. I'm pretty sure that this is still available, um, but I just love it because it's got all of your mauve tones. Everything's matte, so the only thing you're not getting in here is a shimmer. Um, but I mean if you are something wanting something more just matte but still very sultry you could totally start on this end of the quad and work your way over to this end or not it's not a quad it's a, just a five pan eyeshadow palette again one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes in my collection moving on to a color couple of them from ColourPop the first one is the blush crush palette again one of my favorites you could totally do some soft pink some rose tones. You've got a few deeper shades here that you can wear. You've got a nice pretty lid topper shade and more of like a champagne-y kind of pinky. Very beautiful eye look that you can do. Again, pairing this with a pinky nude or even more of a deeper nude. You could add, and I would probably do this if I was feeling very festive, you can add, totally add like a bold red lip with a softer look if you wanted to with this palette. It would look fabulous. And then the next one is a newer um, launch from ColourPop. I hope this is still available. I don't know, ColourPop goes through their stuff all the time, but this is the Feeling Bubbly collection, or the Feeling Bubbly eyeshadow palette uh, from their New Year's collection. Again, I totally love this. It's totally, it's a celebratory palette as it was marketed. Um, but again, definitely you can go more softer. You can add some deeper shades here. Uh, you're not going to get anything too intense out of this, but the shimmers are amazing on it. And again, something you could easily pair with a more sultry, more bold lip if you wanted to. And then moving on, I have to do a couple of different piles here for my eyeshadow palettes right behind me. Um, an older one, but still a good one, is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. You're definitely going to get more of a natural, more subtle look out of it, but definitely something you could do getting, you know, you know, you've got your deeper shades here, you've got your shimmers here, and then your more highlighty shades here. Um, and then you've got, of course, a transition shade right here. I absolutely love it. Again, definitely something you can pair with a more bold, like bold red or a bold pink look. This one is newer to my collection. Uh, this is the Juvia's Place, the Mauve's palette. I got this last month, actually, and I love it because it is a little bit more purpley, but still very mauve-y. Um, the shades here, they are buildable, but they are beautiful, especially if you're wanting to go more true pink for the holiday season. Another good one. 
The next one is a new favorite of mine. It is the Persona Identity Palette. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more on the warm tone side for Valentine's Day, but there's some purples here. You can get some deeper looks. You can get a very sultry, very glam, and very easy glam look with this. And of course, you can pair it with any kind of lip that you would want. And of course, this is also another favorite of mine. It's my Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes eyeshadow palette. Very festive, very rosy. Like, you get your rosy shades here. Uh, you've got some more... Sh um, lighter colors over here and some deeper ones so there's an array of looks you can do with this palette for Valentine's Day and of course adding your pops of pink too that is definitely sort of something that you want to do and then the next one I've had for a couple of years it's the Zueva Spice of Life palette definitely more on the red tone side so if you are wanting to get away from the pinks and the purples and you're not really feeling the uh, golden eyeshadows you can definitely get some more red looks with this palette of course if you wanted to pair a bold red lip you can or you can even go more pink with it um, or of course nude really you can do anything with the reds in this palette it just kind of depends on what you're comfortable with and the next one is an oldie but a goodie it's the Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow palette definitely more rosy you get your more everyday kind of if you're just wanting a daytime look you've got those colors over here but you can totally do like a day to night look and add some of these if you wanted to again adding like a pinky nude or even a red if you really wanted to would be really beautiful with this look also from Urban Decay is another old one but a very good one in my opinion it is a Naked Cherry palette Again, absolutely love this. You are going to get more bold and berry tones with this. It's not a palette for everyone, but I do love it. I would definitely go more nude with the lip on this one, um, but you can still do some more day to night looks if you wanted to. It's definitely more if you're wanting to do more of something cutesy. Maybe you're really wanting to get into the theme of Valentine's Day, especially if you have kids. This might be a palette that would be very fun for you to wear. And even wear with your kids if you have young daughters that just want to play around with the makeup for Valentine's Day. And the next one is Ofra and Samantha March uh, collection. I wanted to add something a little bit more purpley toned here. Personally, I don't think purple is more of a Valentine's Day co color. I feel it like complements the Valentine's Day's color schemes. But I know a lot of people do like purple, so this is definitely a good palette that I do love and you could totally do something with the pinks here and add in some more purples if you wish. Uh, I would probably pair a pinky nude lip with this. And then of course a Valentine's Day classic, the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Um, I don't think I need to say much. It's everything encompassed in Valentine's Day. You've got your reds, your purples, your pinks, your shimmers. Um, I don't just I don't think there's anything more that you could say about this palette. I would definitely stay more towards a nude lip because you are gonna get a bold look for Valentine's Day with this palette. And then a couple of palettes here from Morphe that you probably wouldn't think for Valentine's Day, but definitely something I would recommend. It is the Morphe 35S Sweet Oasis palette. I hope this is still available because I love it. Again, you're gonna get your pinks here, your shimmers here. I mean, if you want it out to pop a blue, you can but you could totally use this for a Valentine's Day palette and then just mixing the matte and matching the pinks with the more neutral shades. Um, again, I would totally recommend it and you can have a variety of looks depending on how sultry or subtle or even more festive that you want to go with this and you can wear a variety of lip combos with this as well. And then the last palette is the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic Palette. Um, again, totally when I was putting this video together, Totally, totally, but I would absolutely recommend this eyeshadow palette again, hands down, one of the first things I thought of when I was putting this palette collection together. Of course, you've got your uh, glitter topper here, your pressed glitter. You could do something with the purples. You can even add in the greens if you're wanting to complement the look a little bit. Uh, you could add in more of your rosy gold shimmers over here. Uh, you can get some, get even more sultry. You can go daytime, you can go nighttime with it. You can do more festive or not more neutral if you wanted to. Uh, I would probably pair a pinky nude with this, pinky nude lip with this. Uh, at primarily, I think that would look fabulous with this palette, but again, it's makeup, so do whatever you want. Um, but with that, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sitting through this and just getting in the mood for me for Valentine's Day. And let me know in the comments below, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Is it date night? Is it something with kids? Uh, you got maybe a Valentine's Day or something you're doing with your girlfriends? Um, whatever it is, just let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. God bless, and bye, guys.